God is truly gracious to the Philippine Church. On May 17, 1989, eight SCJ foreign missionaries arrived in the Philippines. They are from the Congregation of the Priests of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, or known as SCJ. It is an international religious congregation founded by Venerable Father Leo John de Hon in 1878 in France, which has now over 2,200 priests and brothers around the world. The beloved late Manila Archbishop Jaime Cardinal Sin requested them to work in Manila instead of Mindanao for security reasons. But despite of security threats, Mindanao remained to be their preference. Hence, they began their apostolate in the far-flung areas of Zamboanga Peninsula. Impelled by the love of Christ, they desired to be prophets of love and servants of reconciliation. They promoted the values of God's kingdom through active integration with the local church. Prayers centered on the Eucharist, simplicity enriched by the spirit of sharing, and solidarity with the poor and the suffering. Their communion as missionaries was one of their topmost priorities. Some reported that hindi lang sila sama-sama, sila nagkakaisa. The unity factor was a great witness to faith among the locals. From there, the SCJ Philippine Mission developed into a body recognized by the local church. The priesthood ordination of the first SCJ priests, the elevation of their entity to the rank of region, and the expansion of their mission around the archipelago was a milestone for their mission growth. At present, their parish pastoral ministries reach two in Zamboanga del Sur, two in Misamis Oriental, one in Southern Leyte, and three in Luzon area. Their vocation formation is also a keynote of their contribution to the Philippine Church. For over 30 years now, the SCJ Filipino vocation grows significantly. They have 24 priests and a deacon, in which some of them were sent to the mission outside the country. The SCJ spirituality paved a way for Dehonian collaborators. The lay Dehonians are composed of young professionals focused on the promotion on health, responsible parenthood, and adult formation. The Dehonian youth build and share a solid Christian faith through their summer youth missions. By the example of their founder, they have established social projects that favor the poor, the sick, and the oppressed, regardless of their beliefs. They provided sustainable aid for the fishermen and farmers, scholarship for the indigents through Higaonan Project, financial assistance for the sick, rebuilding the devastated homes of the Sendong and Yolanda victims. One of their major projects is the Kasanag Daughters Foundation. It offers to the sexually abused girls a holistic healing process, intensive professional counseling, legal assistance, educational scholarship, and values formation are also provided. Indeed, these missionaries have become a gift to the Philippine Church. In their humble ways, the faith of the locals has been nourished. Social justice has been upheld, and they are one with the Church in preparing and sending good Filipino missionaries all over the world.